where is the Damian Lillard trade? He says he wants out finally. He has identified Miami as the place he would like to go. And in the NBA, that normally means he's in Miami by sun, sundown the next day, right? Right. And uh, and here we are, what, about a week uh, plus later? Almost coming up on a week and a half since he finally tapped his wrist to Portland and said, Dame, time's up here. I'm done. I want out. You know, one day of the new league year didn't, uh, you know, Jeremy Grant's re-signing didn't, uh, didn't move the needle for me. I want out. So I think we're about day nine of his trade request and nothing's happened. And Mannix just said, there's no, there's nothing going on right now that Miami made an offer. Portland doesn't like it. Doesn't think it's fair market value for someone of Damian Lillard's age, talent, and one would say also fannies in the seats type excitement that he would lend to a franchise like uh, Miami team that did in fact win the conference again but found itself shy of the championship once again and Miami gave an offer and it wasn't to the liking of the team that knows the guy doesn't want in anymore has been told by the guy who doesn't want in anymore where he wants to go specifically and thinks and believes the team that is the only team he's ever played for and loved and the fans associate with this player, he's told him he wants out. He's going to the Hall of Fame based on his career in this one spot he's only played at, but he wants out and he's told the team where he wants to go. And the initial trade that we're all expecting doesn't happen right away. Does this remind you of anything? Recent history. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. What's that, Rich? Aaron Rodgers, the Packers, and the Jets. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Told the general manager, I want out. Says, I want, I intend to play for this team. True, true. The whole world's like, that's going to happen. And then all of a sudden, it's just like, wait a minute, why isn't it happening? <laughs> and then what happens? He winds up going anyway. Right. This trade's going to happen. Feels like it. The whole question is when. And, and Maddox is like, they don't have to act fast. Season can begin. He could still be there. Training camp can happen. He could still be there. Didn't the Packers basically say, yeah, we'll hold on to him? We'll hold on to him. Sorry, folks. We don't have to worry. Yeah, there's no rush. Didn't we hear the same thing? And it happened. Because the Jets boosted it a little bit. Boosted it. The swap first this year. Oh, and they love pick swap. I mean, the, we actually saw a pick swap in the NFL. That doesn't happen in the NFL. Happens all the time in the NBA. A lot of pick swaps. And then also... Another first-round selection next year, if everything goes right this year, which it's gonna, right? Doesn't that happen? Doesn't this? It just it reek. It's the same thing. It, so if if Lillard says he's going on a darkness retreat, <laughs> I don't know how great his reception is at the house. I don't know if Joe Cronin FaceTimes him or not. Oh, yeah. But other than that, I mean, this is this this is the same damn thing, where players like you know. Where we're wondering, like, has Damian Lillard handcuffed the Blazers' ability to get fair value for him because he has come out or or handcuffed his ability to get out because he's made a declaration of exactly where he wants to go? Yeah. Remember that was a, for a hot minute? Rogers went on McAfee's show oh, yeah. and undercut his leverage and put the Packers in a spot because he said, I want to go play for the Jets. Same thing's happening right now. Don't you think Aaron had more leverage than Dame simply because Aaron at least did bring a trophy? I don't think so. I, I think it's the same damn thing. And actually, the NBA player is supposed to have more leverage than the NFL player. NBA player says, I want out. NBA player gets out. 
Well, you think you think Harden's going to still be in Philadelphia by the fall just because things do. aren't happening I, right now? I actually do. Really? No way. I do. He's going to. I think when the season starts, he's going to be playing for the Sixers. I don't know about when that. When the Clippers visit Philadelphia? No, as <laughs> nice. starting next to Joel. And I don't know. I oh, think man. right now we're in the we don't have to do it right now. Clock hasn't struck midnight yet type yeah, thing, even though like we're that. used to. And NBA players saying, I want out. I want to go there. All of a sudden, boom. That's exactly where you go. Well, you know, famed 20th century poet Mick Jagger once said, you can't can't always always get get what you want. What you want. So he wants to go to Miami, right? As he's been told, if I'm Portland, I'm trying to pick that roster apart. I'm trying to leave bones there. So, okay, we'll send you there, but we're taking Bam, taking Harrow. They don't want Tyler, apparently. That's one of the whole Well, not as the centerpiece. You know, so. Well, Bam, isn't that what, that's what, that's who Daniel wants to to keep there. So if I'm Portland, I'm like, sure, we'll send you there. Give me Bam back. It's going to happen. I don't know. I, I honestly, I feel like it's a, it's the same thing minus the darkness retreat and the odd FaceTime thing. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's the same thing. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 